How do I feel about teaching voice acting? Let's vlog about this. Yes, we're back up in the mountain. Oh my God. I love it when there's sunny at a certain point and dark throughout the rest of the areas. I just love that. So we're back up in the mountain, but it's a little bit too windy to vlog outside. So I may have to take this to the car again. Right now it's okay. But you know, not having a proper microphone and just using the onboard, the on-camera mics creates a lot of rumble from the wind. Wind noise, look. I bet it's in your ears right now. There's usually kids setting over here. 14, 15 year olds. I guess I'm a little bit shy still to vlog in front of people. This place is awesome. Alrighty, let's get rid of this sound, this noise. This is totally unacceptable for a voiceover session. No such clothes allowed in the booth. And this happens to be my booth for today. Busy day, but it started off on Clubhouse with the Creatives United group, which is my peeps. Boop. That's us. Beep, 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 beep. The beep, 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 beep sound is kind of Mizar. He's our guy, he's one of us, he's family. Sometimes I miss his voice so much during the day that I have it in my head and he's going, honestly dude, 100%, 100%, good vibes only, good vibes only, man. He's gonna kill me. Oh, I love you, dude. All right, let's get some gasoline. Yeah, I can wait. Hey, there's no problem. Gas all filled up. Job's done. I'm back to this very favorite spot of mine. This place is magical because the mountain keeps bringing clouds over. So from one minute to the next, you can go from sunshine to rain to hail or whatever. It's crazy. And the vistas. Oh my goodness. I do apologize for the audio. I feel pretty terrible. I'm an audio guy. I'm a voice actor. And you can't hear my voice too well because it's really windy. So. Right now I'm hiding the camera behind a wall so that the air is not hitting the microphones on the camera itself. I hope you can hear me. So what do I think about teaching voice acting? I think it's great. I think teaching of any sorts is great. And I love teaching myself. I think I would be fairly good in a classroom. Um, you know, I, I have patience and I have lots of love for people who are willing to learn. And I know that this is not all teachers are about because you have to deal with people who do not want to learn. But teaching a very specific subject is usually uh, done towards people that are willing to learn. And I would love to do that. Plus my patience would help with the others. It's not that I haven't done it. I haven't taught voice acting ever. I have, but it hasn't been for money. And I do not consider it part of my job description. I have decided that my job is voice acting, I'm a performer, that's what I do, and uh, I haven't really taught in the traditional sense. But I have helped people out. But my hand is getting pretty tired in this location, I better change it up. I don't know where I can go that's going to be a little bit better in terms of wind. I might have to go in the house, to be honest. But yeah, let's keep going. Okay, taking it inside. By the way, this is my new power bank. It's kind of an off-brand kind of thing, quickie that I bought from a store, a um, local store. And this is for you, Fabian. That was just the, the battery I have left out of a hundred. So, voice acting. And do I want to teach? Hmm. See, I have taught. I, it's not that I have not, but... Uh, like I said, not in that way. Not for money. Not yet. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it ever. Uh, I might create a course or a seminar, a webinar, but the purpose of this channel is never going to be me teaching you how to be a voice actor. I don't think 
I'd be interested in creating videos just about that. I may be throwing tips here and there like I have, and I may be reviewing microphones like I have, but I don't want to turn this channel into a tutorial uh, channel, into a seminar. You can pick my brain on Clubhouse, where I'm at right now, or you can pick my brain on my Instagram DMs, which I am always open, or in the comments down here below. Anytime you want me to answer a voiceover related question, I'll be more than happy to. Just engage with me. But you know, especially on YouTube, you're gonna be helping me with the algorithm of the videos as well, so you might as well do it here. So it's not that I haven't helped people out, especially there was this guy, Patelis, he, and if you're watching right now, dude, you rock. You're rocking it. Uh, he reached out to me about a year ago and he said, I really need to be doing this. I need to be a voice actor. And I could hear in his voice that his instrument was really nice. He's just really heavy and it's really deep uh, and rough, uh, but very kind as well. So he's like the perfect combination when it comes to uh, what the Greek market needed at the time, uh, I think. And uh, um, I could hear in his voice and in his spirit that he really was up for it. Because usually when people call me up, they're like, oh, I want to be a voice actor. When I lay it down for them and I tell them, this is what you need to do, they usually just disappear. Because they're thinking that it's something very easy, and it is not. It is a slow burn. It's not fast. It's not something that you, you, you know, you either have it or you don't. No, you work for it. You work towards your goals. Just like in any other profession. So I helped Padelis out. Basically, he nailed it. Like, he booked a full-on campaign, uh, and now he's uh, the voice of a, of a major TV network as well, for promos and trailers. So, you know. And I'm not saying this to brag about myself. This is all on him. This is just him. Just his talent, his passion, his drive. It's all him. Uh, the reason I'm saying it is that I have done it, and I do consider it a part of my job um, to give back to the world because somebody helped me out, somebody trained me, and I, I need to be sharing what I know for the world to know. But when it comes to my creativity, I cannot confine myself to that. I cannot just be the voiceover guy when it comes to our relationship. There's just a spectrum of things that I want to, to be constantly uh, delving into and exploring. And, and, and voice acting is definitely one of them. But I want to be vlogging, I want to be singing, I want to be doing music. And I need to niche down pretty soon. I have realized that because this channel's reach is pretty much limited when it comes to how far it can go without a specific niche. There's people here who came for the interviews I did on Taiwan and how it helped uh, cope with uh, COVID-19 and how well it did. And kudos to Taiwan. I will always love Taiwan. It's like one of my favorite places in the world. Um, there's people here who are for the voiceover community. There's people here who are for my vlogging and. Um, there's people here, I don't know, what else, for, for my songs, maybe. Uh, so there's all these audiences, and none of these audiences are necessarily intertwined in their interests. So, you know, when somebody who's here for voiceovers sees a video about Taiwan, they're going like, mm, I'm not going to watch it. And that really helps, does not help the algorithm. It helps YouTube bury me <laughs> in their algorithm because uh, the viewership is not going up. And what do I want with viewership, you're gonna say? Well, mm. well, here's the thing about YouTube and about these videos. Again, I'm gonna go with an example. Average Joe Schmidt, which is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite creator of all time uh, on, on this platform. He's just a, a person who creates simple videos um, about his life. Like, his videos are a journal of what he did during the past week with, like, every week uh, with his family and his wife and his three boys uh, who are teens. And it's so simple. That he's been doing it just for the sake of, you know, his grandkids, his future grandkids. He wants them to have, like, a, a back catalog of, of what life used to be like uh, during this time. That, you know, he's here. Joe wasn't aware of how much he was helping me 
when I was watching his videos um, because Joe was unaware of the fact that a stranger, a complete stranger like me, could be influenced and impact and have such a big impact uh, in my soul out of his videos. The thing is, his positivity and his simplicity uh, in the way that he sees the world, uh, and I'm not saying he's like a simple-minded, the exact opposite, he's very bright, but he, he deals with a curiosity that is very beautiful, very childish in the best of ways, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the curious mindset kind of way. Uh, and he's investing, investigating all these aspects of life in such a beautiful way. And he was unaware of this. And I told him, if you decide to grow your channel, you are going to be impacting a lot more people than just me. And that's kind of what I want to do with my channel as well. I want to, 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 to have a, as much of an impact as I possibly can on the world. You know, the more people we can influence and the more good we can do for the world, the more souls we can reach out to, the more people we can connect on a molecular level with, it's, we're making the world a better place. That's kind of what I want with this channel. So I'm going to be niching down. And I'm not going to be niching down 100% to teaching voice acting. Um, I, I think my creativity is going to be hindered if I decide to niche down to something that I can talk for hours and hours on end, but this is not something that's going to be making me happy. I can create a course. I will probably at some point down the road create a course or a seminar or a webinar or something uh, that will be discussing the technical sides of voice acting and maybe uh, an interactive course where I can help people out. But the purpose of this channel is never going to be to sell a course uh, for you to support me because I charge brands for that. Um, I charge brands for the use of my voice. That's what I'm saying. And I do not charge creators for that. So you being a creator or you know a, a media consumer uh, of YouTube videos, I don't want to charge you for anything. Um, if at some point I create a course, I will be letting people know here and maybe it will be in the description, but it's not going to be the purpose of this channel to sell a course. On the contrary, it's probably going to be completely disengaged from that. <laughs> okay, I'm just ranting now. And thank you. If you're still watching, I thank you so much. Um, thanks for being here and thanks for connecting with me on this. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Please hit the subscribe button to be notified more. Um, maybe, you know, the vlog side of the video was more interesting to you. Or maybe you're here for something that you haven't seen, like I said. Maybe you were here for Taiwan or for my music or for something else. Let me know why you're here. What do you want from me is a question that I will keep asking over and over again. I am probably thinking that I will be niching down to... Maybe I'll save it for a future video. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. Subscribe, click the like button, comment down below what you would want me to do or what you like about this video or about previous videos that you would like to see again. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till next time, remember, always be kind.